Bye, pumpkin. <laughs> Bye, pumpkin. Bye, pumpkin. So each aisle is themed. Like this aisle is the red theme. And then they have like a green theme. Some of it's semi chuggy Like this is like a sugar plum fairy themed. Um, you can see like the sugar plum fairy, fairy stuff here. But I can't talk because of the music. But yeah, just hopefully adding some context. So this feels like the Grinch themed, like the Grinch quick green Christmas. Does that make sense? It feels like the Grinch green Christmas over here in this section. And this is like the rustic Christmas. This is absolutely petrifying, ew. I'm mad that I kind of like these. <laughs> Like, I kind of like this. I think it's whimsical. This is like a pink Christmas over here. <clears throat> Should I get this one? This one? Or this one? I'm leaning towards this one. Is it Christmas without poinsettias? Is it Christmas without poinsettias? That's the question. That's like the classic holiday floral, it seems like. Um, and then you always have like the reefs. I want a reef, but I want it to be the right proportion. So I just might skip it this year. And then like maybe next year, work on like outdoor decor. But for now, who needs it? What it's... champagne gold <clears throat> I feel like this one might be might be the ticket hmm. this actually isn't a bad price 200 it's not a terrible price. trying to bounce up on my candy cane okay it's a new day now i'm at hobby lobby and you can see they also have the themes like look here's the grinch 
here's like the aisle. They're still doing store setups. I really wanted cute holiday kitchen towels, but I couldn't find any good ones. And I don't really like these ones because they're too bold. I just want something kind of simple, but like still festive. <laughs> So sorry my eyes are watering. Allergies and I have not taken my allergy medicine at all. See this isn't as bad, but it's $7.99. It's kind of a high price. And they have like all these napkin holders, which are super cute. And then they have um, coasters, which are super cute. This is actually, I kind of like this, but I think it would be noisy. This is also very cute, very thin. But very cute and then here's also other holiday towels I just don't like them so you, you see again like the rustic um, ornaments and this would be I guess like farmhouse chic not a bad vibe but doesn't really fit the tempo of my home um, but they do have it's also color coordinated similar to like at home but I do feel like the selection here uh, is a little bit more vast. So keep that in mind. Would y'all ever do a Christmas tree for your office that's super girly? Cause like the pink stuff always reminds me of like where my single ladies at. Like you know when you know when people do like office Christmas trees. I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. Maybe not. But yeah. And then they have like ice skates, winter wonderland, crystals, etc. Very cute. Now you see like outdoor decor elements. Um, it's, it's very much on the chewy side. It's very much on the chewy side. I don't see anything I Sorry, the card is loud. I don't see anything I particularly love in this aisle. But you know, you, I have a sweet spot for the Grinch. I don't know. <laughs> I just have a sweet spot for him um, for Christmas <laughs> and then they have an Elmo let's see if this one dances okay they, I think it might dance but it's not dancing okay, so, so brutal and then there's Elmo Okay, it's giving very much Jesus is the reason for the season over here. Um, I used to see these all the time growing up, so they remind me of like family, but I just don't really. This is gonna sound terrible. I don't know if I like nativity decoration in my, like in my space at this moment. If I had a bigger space, probably, but now, eh, it's a meh for me. And then they have like tons of miniatures. I don't have a space for these. So it's like a no can do. So this is actually more of my holiday vibe. It's more of like Christmas. It's, it's like a semi rustic winter wonderland. I wouldn't even say rustic. Like a, a chic winter wonderland. Uh, that's what I'm doing for my Christmas. Even I strangely kind of like this. But I know I won't get it. But I, I do like it. <laughs> and then they have like sticks. Oh, these are really faux faux sticks. They're super light. Wait. I think they're made out of like styrofoam. And then more signs. Fabric. 
believe. Believe what? Oh, I think maybe it's like believe in Santa. They, let me just tell you this. Hobby Lobby likes some wood. They like something rustic. I don't know, some of this decor reminds me of like a Lifetime movie, love story, you know? I kind of like these angels. So you could take these and you can make them with your kids. Because they're like ornaments that you make, like you paint them. So you take this and you paint it. So th that's pretty cool. And they have also some other decor you can like paint and like customize if you want. Bye, pumpkin. <laughs> okay. So I have this Carolina pine tree. It's fake from at home and it's nine feet and I'm going to put it here. Right here, hopefully. Hopefully it looks good. And I have all these Christmas ornaments. 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 Right this year, I think I'm going to go with a gold, pewter, white, and green combo. I think the red is going to stay put for this year. So a lot of these decorations I got at home, Hobby Lobby, and Walmart. And Target. So yeah, and then I have some garland at the bottom. I've got some more decor here. And then I have my favorite decor here. These were gifted to me. They're like um, black angels. And the, oop, focus. Can you focus on? So they're like black angels and um, they remind me of my childhood because I had a neighbor who had black figurines. She was my Mimi and so these remind me of them. So I'm excited to put these on my tree too because I think these add character. Um, and I know like, they, oh, they're not aesthetically pleasing, but to me, they're homey and they remind me of like home and like, actual memories so i'm a, i'm these are like some of my favorite ornaments and i was gifted these so i'm excited Some small bad news but I'm going to try to fix it um, the tree doesn't light up all the way at the top and I'll show you so magical 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 and then focus on so right there it doesn't focus and I need like it doesn't light up and I need it to light up I tried changing one of the light bulbs um, one of like something that looks like this and it didn't help so I'm going to look up online but for now we are pausing on the tree decor
Now these are my lovely black figurines that were gifted to me. Gorgeous. Oh no, focus. So like this. That's one of them. Here's another one. Here's another one. Oh, another one. Here's another one. So these are the figurines I'm going to put on my tree and then I'm going to put something on the table after that. So this is what I had to fix, this little fuse box right here. So as you can see, one fuse is out, and I'm adding a new fuse that I bought from Home Depot, and it's these fuses. These is, It's the Bushman 3A fuses. Okay, party people, so I'm basically done decorating. Finish the table, I need to clean up, but the table is basically done. The staircase is done. The tree, low key but high key done. Um, the light thing still isn't working out. I have this, a few different types of mistletoes that I don't know what to do with. <laughs> Won't be using them, but I have them. <laughs> so I think that's fun. I'm just gonna put them on my table. But that's about it for decorating for Christmas. Woot woot, I'll hopefully be showing a little bit more as time progresses. And I have plenty of decor left. Like, oh, let me move this. Plenty of stuff. And this can be used for subsequent years. Sing about a holiday. Happy holiday. Sing about a holiday.